Hello YouTube, Sharps1874 here with uh, part two of the SVT40 video. So today we're going to look at uh, disassembling the SVT40 and some of the things that make it kind of cool, um, especially for its time. And um, this is going to require a number of camera angle changes, so be patient. Here comes the first one. Okay, here's the SVT40. First thing we're going to do is take the magazine out of it. Uh, notice it has a folding clip for the magazine, or latch, whatever you want to call it, um, to take it out. You, um, yeah, let's set this over here. And that can be folded back or not. It's it's just kind of something that's kind of interesting. And I also told you about the, the safety, the mechanical safety, which just blocks the trigger. Um, we can leave it. We can leave it there. Let's. Uh, we're going to verify. You know, we'll put the mag back in. Open it up, and as you can see, there's nothing in there. It is empty. So now we'll take the mag back out and put the bolt home. Okay, what I wanted to show you, you won't be able to see until I take the um, the bolt out. So, to do this, there's a, a housing that covers the mainspring. Then we've got the bolt. And to take the spring out, you've got to pull this down. Now, the spring is captured right here, and I'll show you that in a second. So, you take it basically all the way down. If you notice right here, I'll show you that up closer. This has now come out of the slot. There's a slot that runs on the inside of this um, flange right here. And once you take that off, or take that out, you can pull that cover off and the spring is ready to go back. That was cute. So you can see that flange right there, a little lip. And then there's a corresponding cutout on the back side of that flange right there. <coughs> Okay, to get the spring out is, <laughs> is kind of tricky. Um, there's another flange that this bolt rides in. And when you get the bolt back about this far, it lifts out of that See this, see this lip right here? That has now come out of the flange. And now, you want to very carefully take the spring out. The spring is in two pieces. Okay. Once that comes out, the bolt comes out. Bolt locks up right here, and there's some wiggling. You know, I've never had a problem with it. There we go. It comes out. And that is the extractor pin right there for the firing pin.
And I gotta tell you, I'm not sure how to take the ejector out. I'll have to look more into that. There's a stamp there that says G9 if I'm reading it right. Okay, <clears throat> so putting this back together, well, you gotta put it in the right way. Okay, so when this is pushed forward, notice that right here, the, um, this flange has come out of this groove, and you're able to take this out. When it's back here, it won't come out. It has to go all the way forward, and then it can come out. And if you can see right here, there's a couple of slots or grooves. Slots is probably the right, right word. Okay, to get the bolt out, right now it is trapped in this lower slot. Okay, and I'm going to move the light over here so we can, can see. See right here, there's a cutout in that lower slot, and that runs all the way down here. So as the bolt comes back, it gets, see how, see how right in there, it is just about to that, uh, to where that cutout begins. And then there's the cutout right here. So there's a cutout, whoops, sorry about that. So the cutout starts from here, goes back to there. When you hit that cutout, you could lift this out. And that's the only place that, that will lift out. And once that is lifted out, you can remove the bolt. So we're just going to take a good look at the inside of these workings. There's the slots or grooves. And the cutout. I hope that's clear. So let's put that back into place. So, you drop the bolt in, you have to get it in on the back side. Once it's in on the back side, it goes down and you see how it dropped into place? As soon as it hit, it would cut out right there. the upper cover drops into place right there. Show that again. The upper cover drops into place and it can't come out until it's all the way forward. The bolt can't come back out until it's all the way back. All right. So we've got the bolt in place. We're going to feed the spring in. Notice how we've got the two rods. You've got to have strong thumbs. You have the first spring in place. 
You get the second spring in place. Well, hold on. I forgot to show you something. So we're going to have to take this back to the bolt extraction point. Get the spring out. And what I want to show you is the detent that's how that locks up in there so you're holding the spring and you're pulling the cover off that's kind of important to know Okay, so push the spring in. You can push the spring back up into that little detent and then life is good. And as we know it's empty so I can drive, I'm moving the safety out of the way and we fired it. All right, <clears throat> there's the spring assembly. Now let's go down to the other end. <clears throat> okay. Change of plans. Um, the video ended up being too long, so I'm going to stop it here and uh, we'll have a part three to talk about the other end of the rifle. So, I'm Sharps1874. I thought you might like to know.